we do end up in some situations. And right now, we've got a fire to put out. Right. Before we begin, let's just grab this fire extinguisher. We can't have this. Oof. Okay. Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. And today we are starting a brand new complete series. We're going to try and complete Subnautica. A game that's been out for quite a while now, but it has been in early access for quite a while. And now it's got its full release. I want to see it through to the end. And I feel that it's going to be a little bit easier perhaps recording this series as it has been with the ARC. Don't worry all of the ARC fans, I'm still carrying on with the ARC series. This is just another one that I wanted to put out there for you. So let's go and check whereabouts we are. As you can see we've crash landed on this ocean planet. And that's the ship we came in on, the Aurora. And it doesn't look too good at the moment. Well, first things first, we need to find some food. Now, and we also need to get some water. Down on the left hand side there, you can see we've got a few little meters. We've got a heart, a food and a water. Well, we need to keep them all full. Along with our O2 meter. And let's just grab that boomerang as well. First things first, we need to be able to survive. Now, across the ocean floor on this planet, the aurora is kind of broken up and there's lots of pieces laid across the ocean floor. So, we need to pick up what we can so we can build ourselves some tools. So we've managed to find some food e easy enough. Some metal here. We've got another one of those bladder fish. So they're good for making water and cooking so they're quite good to take and there's a, quite a big chunk of the ship there we are going to have to craft a scanner in order to use some of this stuff so we'll just have to remember it's quite close to the pod so we'll come back when we manage to craft that right now I think we need to look round for any resources we can see I can see some salt and over here, there's some seed vine or creep vine clusters. These creep vine seeds, we can make lubricant and we can make rubber from. And here's some salt. We will take that as well. The salt we can use with some coral and we'll be able to make some filtered water out of some bleach that we can also make. So we need to gather all the materials we need to get uh, to be able to survive and right now well things are against us yeah I can see a couple of things here to scan looks like some grav pod things I think they're called it's a bladder fish with my name on it there grab them I think we've got plenty of food so let's just grab this metal and we'll head back to our escape pod. Now on the escape pod we've got a fabricator. This is going to allow us to cook our food and craft some of the tools that we're going to need in order to complete this game. Let's just get back inside. So the pod's not much good to us at the moment. We're going to need to be able to repair it. But first, let's make some food and water. And as you can see, out of the bladder fish there, we can make water. And the food here, we've got lots of different type of fish. All of them give you different amounts of food and water. But right now, we'll just cook them all. As you can see, my hunger bar's gone quite far down already. It didn't start on full, so he's already hungry when we crash landed. I'm going to turn some of this metal that we've got into titanium. We've also got some rubber. 
that we can make from them seed vine clusters. We might need to make a little bit more of that. So down here on these menus here we can make some equipment as well. So let's make our O2 tank. We're going to need that. For sure. And we can also make some fins. Which will make us swim 15% faster than we do. So that's also going to be handy. I'll just see if we can craft anything else that we've might have been able to grab her. The sea glide is something that we need to craft for sure. That's going to help us get through the water, but we don't have the parts for that at the moment. That takes electrics. Perhaps we can make ourselves a knife. That's definitely a tool we can use. And you can't craft guns in this game. That's pretty much the only weapon that we're going to get. We can get upgrades. Okay. And the repair tool, we're going to need some cave sulfur. So we definitely need to go and find some of that. So we've got some filtered water here and a cooked peeper. Gives us plus 21 for a hooped fish. And we're pretty much back up to full on all of our bars there. Plus we can swim in the water a little bit more. And we just check here, we got some flares, some rations, and some water already. But uh, let's shove this stuff in our storage so we can go out and gather some more. All right, some quartz down there. And I think a cave as well. So, oh yeah, right. We need to get away from these suicide fish. They get close to you and they uh, they blow up. But that's where we get our cave sulfur from. They leave behind. Oh, come here. Another one. Just get out of the way. He's catching up. Oh. They don't like you getting close. Okay. Well, in their little egg hatching face hugger things that these things come from when you get close to them they leave behind cave sulfur and that's what we need to be able to craft our repair tools and for our scanner we also need to get copper and there's some more copper we need plenty of copper yeah, we've just gathered some resources together there. We've got the sulfur we need. Let's just grab this metal. We're not doing too bad. In fact, actually, I've found quite a few resources now. And now that we've got the cave sulfur, I think we'll uh, head back to the life pod and we'll uh, craft up these repair tools and the scanner. So we just need the mushrooms to make the battery. Now we can craft the scanner. The scanner is one of the most important tools. That's going to allow us to learn lots of different stuff. And the repair tool, we just need to... Where did I put that cave sulfur? I must have put it outside. I've had to craft some more storage units just to start, shove some stuff in. Right, there's the cave sulfur. What else do we need to make the... Uh, we need some rubber. So have we got any of the seed vine clusters? We have. Let's just grab that. I've managed to find some lead and some silver as well early game, so that's good. I'm just struggling with the copper, which is usually the first thing I find. And there we go, the repair tool. Finally. We can get our escape pod repaired. Actually, perhaps get a half decent night's sleep tonight. <laughs> Ooh, that hurts. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay, 
Okay, it's power restored. And let's also repair the radio transmitter. Send uh, play the message. There we go. We've got the distress call out. And, uh, well, it's going to be a very long playthrough if we have to wait that long <laughs> to get rescued. But we do have power. And just crafted up some bleach so we can make water. And it is a better grade of water than what we get from the bladder fish so it fills up more of the bar and it crafts two so just eat that peeper and there we go the disinfecting water is pretty much filled our bar all the way up okay let's just put some of this stuff away now we've got a scanner can start scanning some of these things. I know right outside here, just over the top, we'll just put these this stuff away first. And we go out gathering. And I've got no room in that one. That's okay, we'll just carry this stuff with us. Now right down here is a piece of the sea glide. So if we use this scanner, we'll get a fragment we need to find one more piece of the sea glide and we can craft one of those. Okay. So, the sea glide, we need lubricant and copper wire this time. Um, we've got the lubricant. And we got the copper as well. So there we go. Our sea glide. And we got a radio message just coming as well. So let's check that out. This is Life Pod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, well, we've got their location. Let's go and see if we can help out Life Pod Free. And it's a chance to test our new sea glide. This is going to make getting about the ocean a lot easier. Okay, just over here. Ooh, and it's not looking good for the crew of Life Pod 3. And uh, it's not looking good for me with all these stalkers on my tail. So, what have we got here? Another piece of the sea glide, but we've got that now. And, well, they've left the PDA so we can find out what happened to them. And we've also got a data box, which has given us the blueprint to do a compass. It's going to be handy finding our way around in the ocean. Let's get back to base. Okay, so I've got all the materials together to craft the mobile vehicle fabricator. So we're going to craft that up, but let's check this message. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Well, doesn't sound good for Ozzy. 
But he did say something about getting crushed by a mobile seamoth. Which is good, because we need to craft one of them. And I don't mean it's good for Aussie, but that could mean that part of the seamoth is somewhere around him. And we'll just put it on our slot down there. Okay. Right, okay, so this is just like the fabricator inside, but for making the vehicles and tools that we're going to need. And right now we don't know the ingredients to the seam off, but I'm guessing that Aussie might. So, I think the next plan of action is to head, over, head on over to LifePod17 and find out what happened. I'll see you when we get there. Again, it's not looking good for Ozzy. I think one of these uh, angry sand sharks has got him. But uh, there is a part of the seam off here. So, we've now got two of three. We need to find one more. And there's LifePod 17's crew log. I can't see anything else in here that's going to be any use to us. Okay, another part of the seam off. Ooh. Um, right, well, that's not good. And we're pretty close to the Aurora right now, so we need to get out quick. Oh dear. fallout. So we're gonna have to craft ourselves a radiation suit. It's probably just as well we found that bit of the seam off over there because it's probably radioactive now. Um, I have got some lead though so I think I'm gonna be able to craft one of them up. It won't be a problem. But I think we've got everything we need. Let's craft the seam off. So, well that's about all the time we've got in the first episode of Complete Subnautica. And I'm, I'm quite excited, really excited myself to be starting a brand new Let's Play and uh, completing Subnautica. I think that this is a game that definitely bel belongs on the channel and I'm really looking forward to having this one as a playlist. So let me know down in the comments what you thought of the first episode. We've managed to survive. Unfortunately, it's not looking like many of the crew have, but we've got the first tools that we need. We have a way to get around the ocean a lot faster now. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more of this series. And next time, I guess we're gonna have to do a little bit more exploring. Now we've got the seam off, we're going to be able to go a little bit further and perhaps venture out into the ocean where there's much bigger fish. So I hope you enjoyed the first one, but until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you. So that's how you get off this planet. <laughs>